thank you all for coming here and uh, joining us for the King Schools press conference. We've got some exciting news. I hope you'll all find it to be as exciting as I do. And uh, I'd like to invite John and Martha to come up. You don't so. need much help on this, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> let's, 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 let's hope when you're done you consider it help. Uh. <laughs> I, think, I think I will. So I don't think John and Martha need a whole lot of introduction. Um, but if you have anything you want to say to get started, then we'll... Well, in case there's any confusion about this, I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. And we are standing up. Yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm actually sitting down, and you can't see it from He's there. right. He's tall. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started on the, on the topics that we have today. The, the first one that we're really excited to talk about, and, and before I get going here on it, it's, it's going to be a, a set of announcements that we're making about Garmin courses through King Schools. And I'd like to introduce in the back of the room if, is Jeff Hoeing, who's the training manager for Garmin and is here with us today. And uh, he'll be available uh, after the conference to answer any questions about Garmin, and uh, we'll be hanging out. So feel free to connect with Jeff. Uh, he's been a, a wonderful uh, person to work with uh, from King School's perspective, because we do a lot of work with the Garmin products, and, and Garmin has provided amazing support for us. So thank you very much for that support. Yeah. The first thing that we have to talk about is some new Garmin GTN uh, 650 and 750 courses and just recently we've acquired a uh, GTN 725 in the Falcon that John and Martha mostly fly and I occasionally uh, get a leg here and there and, and love to fly but I can tell you that that system has made such a difference for us in flying the airplane and we got so excited about it we realized you know what are we doing we, we really need to get a course out for folks to be able to very quickly come up to speed on the GTN avionics. So that was kind of the genesis of what happened. And John, you might have some more uh, comments to make on the GTN 725. Well, uh, just for your information, the 725 is a Garmin 750 without the Navcom radios. And it has a lot of uh, advantage to it in a sense because without having all the controls for the Navcom radios, and, and in, our, in our case, we don't have the, uh, uh, the intercom either. Hey, you got all of that real estate that you can, uh, Garmin has so thoughtfully designed it so that you can put different things in that space. And for, for instance, if we get traffic, we can hit a button and it brings up the traffic. And a, a touch a for, key. Touch, excuse me, touch, touch a key. Uh, touch a key for the, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, touch a key for the, uh, radar and things of that sort. So we got lots of things we can do with it. We can do uh, uh, utilities and so on. So it's very, very, very handy. It's a wonderful setup. And I'll have to say um, that it's doubled my navigational IQ, which was pretty easy to do. And we're not lost near as much as we used to be. Um, so it's just fabulous. And we thought it's, it's going to benefit people if we do a course. And our course is uh, uh, going through actual uh, key touching uh, uh, in the system, showing people how to use the system. It's a, it's a fabulously well designed. It's intuitive uh, be because you can, instead of having to remember, do I turn the knob to the left or right and how many clicks, it's just, it's just a ma there's a map of what it, you want to do. It's all visual. There's all icons visual. On, the, on the screens and, and it's very self-explanatory. But the course will be very helpful to people because there's a lot of things you can do with it that might not be immediately obvious because they're not commonly available uh, in other units. And so uh, uh, it helps you discover the capabilities. The, um, the reason, uh, the, the, the final tipping point for us putting that unit in the Falcon in addition to uh, how good it is, is the fact that that unit combined with the Garmin transponders, the 345 and 335, set us up for ADS-B out. And uh, so, so it was kind of a, just a fabulous all-in-one package for us. Uh, so it's just, it's just been, it's made the airplane a lot more fun. It's just been marvelous. Yeah, so, so like I say, we, we got so excited about it, we, we started working on the course. And uh, so we're in production right now, and we're moving along quickly, and we realized after we finished the first lab, you know, this is something that could immediately benefit 
pilots that are using the GTN system. So we thought, well, why not take that first lab, which consists of four lessons, and make it available for free? So that's what we've done, and we've released a free Garmin 650-750 course called uh, saying, or Say Hello to the Garmin GTN 650-750. And it's available for free right now on the King Schools website. You just simply go to the home page. There's a section listing 13 free courses that are offered by King Schools. And that's the latest of those courses. So that gives folks a place to start, get some information about the GTN, how easy it is to use. And then when the full course comes out, then we'll have both the free course and the full course available. The free course being kind of an introduction to the full course. And the full course will be available in October of this year. It'll be uh, just like our other uh, Garmin courses, the G1000, the 435, 30, and so on. Uh, it'll be available for 179. And, uh, but meanwhile, the big news today is that we have the, the free course available for immediate use uh, by pilots everywhere in order to get a start on using the GTN. And what we're, we're seeing, and I think Garmin is seeing this as well, is that a lot of pilots are, are upgrading for ADS-B, and there's a big push for that as we're moving toward the, the end of the year. And many of those pilots at the same time are upgrading their avionics, and, and, and an avionics package of choice is, is really the Garmin GTN paired with uh, the Garmin transponders or, or other ADS, ADS-B solutions. So, um, so we're happy to be part of that. We want to get, uh, we want to make sure that those pilots that are upgrading to the GTN system have a good resource to go to in order to get the information they need in the simple, fun way, you know, the King style. Uh, John and Martha and myself are, are doing the, uh, the video lessons and uh, and we're really rolling on it. It's a it's a priority at King Schools. We're having a lot of fun with it. Well, well, for the uh, couple things. The first uh, uh, time with King Schools, we've got someone else on the video besides John and Martha, uh, and we're, we've been waiting for someone. And that's Barry. And that's Barry, and we've been waiting for someone uh, who who. Uh, could do it warmly, connect with you so that uh, you feel like there's a friend talking to you. Uh, and that's Barry, and he's doing a wonderful job, and we're just thrilled with him. And he's also on um, our knowledge uh, test courses. Uh, uh, you've done quite a few lessons in the commercial sure. course, and you've got more to come. And Yep. Yep. And um, we do have to pedestal the camera up and down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's about a five-minute process to configure this in the studio, but it works. So, so anyway, so that's the, that's the uh, one bit of news. There, there's going to be press releases on all of these things as well that you'll receive. Um, if, you're, if you received an invitation to this press conference, you'll receive all of the press releases, uh, including uh, pictures that can be used and so on. Uh, if you did not receive an invitation by email, you can see John Dowd in the back here and make sure that you get on our distribution list and you'll receive those releases. So the next bit of news, if I can get this to advance, uh, that, that's actually a, a picture there that you're seeing of the main menu for the free course. So we've got the four lessons. The next bit of news also has to do with Garmin, and, and we're really excited about this because we've been working with Garmin products for over 14 years now and, and have really found that to be an area where pilots appreciate the King style and, and the King ability to clarify, simplify, and make it fun to learn. So we've done well through the years on 435, 30 courses, G1000 courses, and so on. And a new element for us is to take Garmin produced content that Jeff's group has, has produced and integrate that into the King Schools learning platform where it's easy to access and uh, we're able to market it uh, and, and cover a broader range of the Garmin offerings and, and instruction on those offerings. So we're really excited about uh, three new courses that are now integrated and available through the, the King Schools learning platform and for purchase through kingschools.com. And those are the um, two courses having to do with the G5000, which is just a phenomenal system that, that takes the uh, G1000 onto steroids and moves it into the jet platforms where systems are integrated and uh, you, ha you have a complete system. Uh, but it needs a lot of training. And, and Garmin has done a wonderful job of 
putting together that training system to bring pilots quickly up to speed on all the capabilities of the G5000. And there, there's two versions of the course. There's a um, essentials course that gives you the basics of operating, or if you really want to get in, into depth, there's the, the plus course. And those are available now immediately through King Schools for purchase. And the third course is the uh, weather radar course, which is really a phenomenal course. And it, at 149, even if you're not using Garmin uh, radar uh, and just need to know more about using an on-ship uh, radar system, this course is phenomenal. So we're, we're really happy to have it. I know John is just I taking just, the course. I just took this radar course. I think it's magnificent. It covers NEXRAD as well as radar, uh, uh, airborne weather radar, and the differences between the two and when one is valuable and when another, the other is valuable. Uh, it t talks about technique. Uh, for, we've, we've been flying airplanes that uh, have um, airborne weather radar for about 30 years, and I still think it's hard to figure out how to operate your weather radar uh, to get the tilt right and, and when it's telling you a valuable information, when it's giving you ground clutter. And this course does a wonderful job of helping with that. I, I just, I thought it was very good and I got a lot out of it. Okay. So, so those courses, like I say, they're all available for purchase on, on kingschools.com. They include videos, graphics, and, and also some flight scenarios where you can do some interactive uh, exercises with the courses, and uh, we find those very valuable. Okay, so moving on to the next slide. Um, let's see, Peggy is here. Peggy Chambrian from Women in Aviation International, and, and we're, we're thrilled, to, thrilled to have you here, thrilled to have everybody from, from WAI here, and uh, we're announcing today some, a new agreement with Women in Aviation International where King Schools is providing benefits directly to Women in Aviation International uh, members. And the, the benefits are, are, we think, are very strong and will be helpful to uh, women everywhere that are part of that organization. Uh, the first one is that all members receive an immediate 20% discount on anything purchased from King Schools. And the second one is that every member can request and receive the full library of King Schools risk management courses, which we think are just wonderful courses. They fit in with the King Schools mission of, of promoting risk management in aviation. And the courses give you solid tools on, that are practical tools. They're easy to use tools that can be used by pilots before, during their flight planning, and in flight in order to identify and manage the risks associated with that flight. And we think they're wonderful courses. We want to get them out there. It's part of the King School's mission to promote risk management and, and the use of risk management tools to, uh, to improve the ability of pilots to not be surprised, essentially to be able to see things that are coming before they come and already have an idea of how to mitigate those risks. And, uh, and so we're making those available for free to every Women in Aviation International member. And, uh, and we're thrilled to do that. The, the third part of the relationship has to do with a scholarship that we've offered now for a number of years uh, with WAI, and we're it's thrilled to continue. It's been four years so far, yep. and go uh, ahead, I'm, I'm gonna uh, jump in here for just a minute before I let you go on. And our first winner was Lindsay Dryling, and as part of that uh, scholarship, we broke with WAI, there are $10 million in scholarships given uh, level, at, which was just fantastic uh, for Lindsay, for us, it was thrilling. For WAI, we were so proud to see what they had done there. Can and you imagine? WAI has given $10 million worth of scholarships. I thought you just glossed over it. Well, because I was about to call Peggy up and have her give us an update on how much they've given away now, because that was four years ago, and they've given away a lot more. Peggy, sorry to put you on the spot. Do I give up thank a you. microphone? No, or? no. Well, thank you for a chance to say. We uh, this year uh, gave out, uh, awarded $948,000 in scholarships just this year, so our cumulative total now exceeds $12.5 million in scholarships. Wow, wow, Peggy, thank you so much. 
That, that, that is a big deal, isn't it? That really that, is. That's a big amazing. deal. And the WAA scholarship applications are now available online. Uh -huh. And so, you know, get the word out to people. WAI has a lot of scholarships. And people who are CFIs and want to further their education or want to become CFIs, if they're already commercial and instrument rated, um, Put an application in. These are the most marvelous people. We have a, a very difficult time every year picking out of the, the fabulous people that apply. But uh, we'd love to, to have people apply and, and give away the money. <laughs> OK, so, so that's that in addition this year to that scholarship that we've been running for four years, we're thrilled to offer these additional benefits and, and increase the connection between King Schools and, and WAI. Uh, so that, that's the news and um, we're, we're thrilled about it. You'll see there's a picture there of Missy Martin, who is our uh, 2019 scholarship winner. Just a absolutely amazing woman. You can find out more about her if you'd like on the King Schools website, uh, kingschools.com slash scholarship. And we, we have more details about all of our past winners. But needless to say, they're all wonderful people with great stories. And we're thrilled to, to go through that set of applications once again this year and, and pick out another winner. I think the good part about giving away scholarships is you make a connection with fabulous people that, that last for their lives and uh, our lives for sure. Um, so it's, it's a great, great connection. And on that theme of scholarship, uh, we also ha have uh, we have Bob here from uh, from NAFI, the National Association of Flight Instructors, and uh, Bob is the chairman. And we've worked closely together uh, through the years on many projects. But the most rewarding of those uh, for me has been to see the scholarship winners once again. Uh, and that scholarship, I think we're in our third year this year. If I yeah, yeah. So, so we're we're thrilled. We we have given away great scholarships. We're looking forward to the next one. And that scholarship uh, period is open today, and it's it's opening actually today. And it uh, it has a uh, value of eighteen thousand dollars, and includes uh, five thousand dollars for work on a next CFI rating or an initial certificate. And that's cash. Cash money, <laughs> yeah, the real thing. Yeah. Martha knows all about cash, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> and, and free lifetime access to the entire King Schools library of over 90 courses, including lifetime access to FERCs, which is a, a uh, can be a pain for many flight instructors. We hope that our flight instructor refresher course makes it fun and educational, and we work hard on that to, to make sure that that FERC is uh, meeting the requirement of the FAA, but also providing real tools and, and current information for CFIs everywhere. Um, so we, we love the FERC, so that's part of the package, is, is giving uh, free FERCs for life. Um, and the deadline for applications is January 3rd. So there's a little bit of time to put together a, a really great application. One of the most rewarding things I do as a flight instructor is teaching a new instructor and mentoring them along, along with all the other ratings that I teach. So this is exciting because this <coughs> This, this helps the pay it forward process. I can never thank my instructors enough, ever. All I can do is pass on all those wonderful levels. So, sir. So we'd like to introduce this year's yes. winner, which is Andrea Garcia. Stand up and uh, turn around and take a bow. And as John said, uh, these are just fabulous people that become long-term friends, and, and we're really delighted. And Bob, thank you very much for sharing in this with us and uh, enabling us to to have an impact on the future of flight instructors. Well, th thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay, then the next uh, slide I'm going to leave for John and Martha. For the first time we've been, Martha and I have been in the ground school business, we're slow learners, uh, 45 years now. And uh, in all of this time, uh, we've never had uh, another owner in the business. And so Barry Canoodla is 
for the very first time, uh, shares ownership with us. We, he owns an interest in the company. We've never done that before. Uh, and there's a lot of things to be said uh, uh, in favor of Barry. He's, one, he's got a, a passion about flying. Uh, he owns a debonair. He's he's uh, typerated in the Falcon 10 and is captain in the Falcon 10. He's, he's an instrument instructor and also uh, uh, a multi-engine instructor. Um, and, and as he Barry said earlier, he regularly flies the uh, Falcon with us and uh, was captain on one of the legs coming in here to Air Venture. And uh, the the reason we're doing this is Martha's getting a lot older. And, uh, and John just confirmed he's not going to get any older. <laughs> so we, we want to have a succession plan for the company. And that's why uh, we have now Barry doing video. Uh, we have Barry as an owner in the company. Uh, and, uh, it, and, and Barry uh, treats people with civility and respect. Uh, he's very, very gracious, very kind to people. Um, in the process of this, his office, uh, he actually moved his office next to ours. I can't imagine why he would have done that. But uh, one of the things I was hearing, Barry talking with people uh, uh, and dealing with uh, situations, uh, uh, HR, uh, personnel situations, and he was so kind to people, so thoughtful. And, uh, and, and he also, uh, he, he's in charge of managing the company and, and has been for a while. So uh, he's just a, he's a, he's a uh, someone who has, uh, follows our core values. We think uh, an employer's obligation is to provide meaningful and rewarding work in an atmosphere of civility and respect. And everything about Barry carries that civility and respect to people, uh, a classy treatment of people, uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's just, it's, we're just thrilled to have him be a partner in the business. And did you mention, I can't remember, that Barry's been with King Schools for 17 years. I mentioned it somewhere, but not this morning. <laughs> and he's been CEO for three years, and, and it's a real delight. Barry came to us uh, from a background in... Um, uh, software development and technology, which is going to be a, a huge part, uh, hugely important for King Schools as we go forward into the future, which segues nicely to talking about the future. Uh, the previous, I'm going to mention the previous people who have headed up King Schools, uh, Dave Jackson was a producer director in Hollywood, and he left Hollywood to come work at King Schools because we saw ourselves as in the presentation business and, the, and doing in the video, video business, video business. basically. And so having a, a someone who to run the company who had been a producer director in Hollywood made a lot of sense. Um, now, uh, one of the reasons, if, if people were to ask me, look, you've been doing this 45 years, how come you're still eating regularly? And, 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 and there are two reasons. One, uh, we uh, have a, a policy of soliciting and responding to feedback from our customers. And uh, so for years, we've had our f very first courses, when they were on video, we had a, a card that they would fill out, they would send it back, and everybody would say, well, John talks too fast. And so John learned to talk slower. I mean, that's how it works. You ask customers what bothers them, they tell you, you respond to it. And sometimes you can't figure out uh, a pattern, but if you can see a pattern, we're, we're going to respond to it. If we can figure out what customers would like to see better, we respond to it. It's just it's one of our core values. And the second reason we're still eating regularly after 45 years in the business is that we have followed technology. Um, we've been responsive to the needs of technology. First of all, we started with chalkboards. And that was a pain because the chalk dust got in my contact lenses. It was just terrible. Uh, and then uh, we went to, got high technology, and went to overhead projectors where you put the transparency on the, on the projector. And, and if we, you remember that, you're really old. <laughs> and, and, and then uh, and eventually, uh, uh, in the early 80s, people started buying VCRs, and VCRs became available, and someone said to, to me, you should put these courses on video. And I said, well, that just goes to show you don't know one darn thing about our business. 
because it won't work on video. It's got to, it requires our personal dynamic presence to work and it wouldn't work on video. And he, the guy says, well, I don't understand how you can say that if you haven't tried it. So we put the courses on video and apparently it worked on video because some years later we're still doing video. Um, and, and then we went from VHS tape to, to uh, um, well, CDs first, yeah, CDs and, and then DVDs. DVDs and, and I'm trying to beta tape. I was trying to remember the name of oh, beta well, tape. Well, we, did, we uh, did beta also, yes. And, and uh, we were masters of beta. In fact, they called me a master beta. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, so we just responded to this technology. We, we went now. from the DVDs to online and then... Uh, Barry has helped us go back offline with uh, the companion app for uh, tablets, whether they're uh, basically iPads now and, and other tablets oh, and, and, to and come. And also uh, cell phones. Uh, uh, right, phones. also on, on yeah. iPhones. Yeah. So the, the, the whole key is that we're, our job now is to make um, aviation knowledge accessible to people. Video is, the, is one powerful tool to do it, but with the, if you package that video and, and deliver electrons, we used, to, we used to, to sell a half million videotapes a year. We had semis come in. We had uh, banks of uh, video recorders 24 hours a day, seven days a week. People were recording things on video. It was noisy, all and those VCRs going on and, and now, off. And now that same area uh, has nothing going on, and uh, we're delivering electrons. Electrons are a lot quieter uh, that way. Uh, so, so our technology has changed, and Barry's background is technology, and that's one of the reasons. He's also, also his passion for, uh, passion for uh, aviation is another reason. And, yeah. and, and, and uh, being a... Be a passion. One of our things we talk a lot about in the company is how we treat people, and that's it's one of our core values. We want to be authentic. We want to be genuine. We want to treat people with civility and respect. Uh, we want to be responsive to customers' needs. And what we're trying to do is deliver an experience for our customers, and, and the learning experience should be a fun experience. And that's that's what we're trying to do. Sorry. So Barry's yeah. got some additional comments about. What he sees for the future. Well, I've got about another half hour if you guys want to <laughs> keep, keep talking. That'd be fine. No, that, just a, a couple quick comments. I'm absolutely thrilled to take an ownership position in King Schools. It's it's something that um, I didn't see. You know, when I when I started with the company, I, I saw myself about two years or so to take a break from the high tech world and you know and really get involved in aviation for a little while and eventually you know work my way back into uh, where I had been, but I became a fan on day one, and that continued on as I learned more about the company and learned about more what we were doing, and I had an opportunity to impact and, and make a difference at King Schools, especially in how we deliver our products and, and moving things to the internet, and needless to say, after, after a few years, I kind of forgot about the idea of returning back to the high-tech world and, and found that, that I could really pursue two passions at once, which was the, the technology side and the aviation side. So I've just had an absolutely great time. And my mission now is really to ensure that the King Schools is around both in how we deliver technology, but um, around as a company that's available to pilots as a way to understand and, and come to the knowledge needed for their uh, pilot certifications and requirements in a way that that's meets our our fundamental company goals of simplifying, clarifying, and making it fun. And I, I really, of course, I'm a fan. I don't think anybody does it like we do it. And I want to make sure that, that this company is around long past my time at, at King Schools, which I hope is still quite a while. But, uh, but the idea is to set it up for the future, because King Schools has a lot to offer. The core philosophies that John and Martha have created, both for employees internally and, and how we treat customers externally, are something that needs to live on and, and live on well beyond my time there. So. I'm looking forward to the future. We have a lot to do. And speaking about a lot to do, um, I've just got a quick slide to let you know kind of what, what our main directions are as a company. And number one is, is more faster content creation. And we're doing a great job on that. We've got uh, a fantastic video production department. Part of the reason I'm on video now 
is because we're able to produce video much faster than we have in the past. We have some new leadership, we have a new studio, we have new people that are Emmy Award winning uh, video producers and, and uh, air traffic controls, subject matter experts. We're just, everything is, is kind of meshing now, all the gears are meshing. So we, we were overtaxing uh, John and Martha. We'd be overtaxing anybody. Uh, but we need to keep that <laughs> going. Nicely said. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to keep that going and use that capability we have to get more content out to pilots. And that's, that's what I'm really excited about doing. And uh, so I stepped in to, to be the on-camera instructor for some of our courses. And we'll probably be bringing other uh, new faces into King School's video production as well. And we're looking forward to do it. The main key and what we have to focus on is ensuring that those new people are fully embracing all of what has made King Schools um, successful with pilots. And it's a personal, um, personal presentation that is very carefully designed in order to transfer a lot of knowledge in a short time in a way that's memorable. And, uh, and John and Martha are the masters of that. They've been mentoring me. We'll continue to mentor other instructors that we bring on board. So we're, we're really looking forward to that. And uh, so, so it's more, more and faster content creation. Um, we need to reshoot a lot of courses in HD video. Uh, we've gone through our private, our instrument. We're partway through our commercial. We've redone our practical test courses. Uh, the next to be released will be the uh, commercial practical test course, which will conform with the ACS standards. And we have it completely shot. It's in editing right now. And we'll have that released by the, the end of the year. So. We're, we need to do that across the board, and, and we're just working our way through each course. Yes. And another area for us is just really growing the flight school and university business, and we're making great progress on that. Um, we, we have a number of partners that we're working with. We're figuring out what's needed, because more and more of the pilots of the future that are flying the, the airlines and flying corporate and Part 135 are coming through ab initio programs in universities, working on their bachelors at the same time as they're taking their flight training. And, and King Schools can play a part there. And we are uh, with several universities, and we're figuring that business out. So that's really part of our future. And the other part is just figuring out new technology. Just like John and Martha were saying, we started with, um, with the uh, beta, went to VHS, and moved our way through CDs, DVDs, uh, internet delivery. We don't know exactly what's next in the future, but I've got the right people on board to figure that out. And it, it probably is figuring out ways to transfer the knowledge even more efficiently using artificial intelligence, using other learning technologies in order to make sure that somebody can very quickly get the knowledge they need in order to accomplish their goals. And that's really what we've always been about, is helping people that have a dream actually reach that dream. And there's, there's a big barrier there in the amount of knowledge that you have to get, uh, that you have to acquire and integrate and be able to apply. And uh, so we need to figure out even better ways in the future to go the next step beyond the combination of internet and, and companion app for offline access that we have today. So we're figuring that out. That's really looking to the future and what I'm going to be looking at as, uh, as CEO and figuring out what we can pass on in terms of a legacy and uh, to the next generation of employees at King Schools and the next generation of pilots. We expect King Schools to be around way far into the future beyond what I can even imagine. And right now we're setting a lot of that foundation. Uh, 45 years will seem like nothing uh, in the long term of, of King Schools. One other thing that, that I'll, we, we've done press announcements on this already, but I'd, I'd like to just comment real quick on uh, the fact that John and Martha this year are being inducted into the National Aerospace Hall of Fame which is really about the top honor that anybody can receive in aviation. And we're just thrilled about that. So, yeah, so as a general policy, we like not to make a big deal out of things. Uh, but um, this is a big deal. We're, <laughs> we're yeah. thrilled about it. So, so please, if there's any chance of coming, please uh, come to the induction ceremony and help us honor uh, John and Martha and what they've done for aviation. We're, we're thrilled about that award, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun.